Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this next character for you guys. This is inspired by Alegria and New Light. One of the characters from the show, well there's two of them, there's a blue one and then, then there's this one. Um, they're the nymphs from the show and they are beautiful. They have a beautiful act in the show, the Adagio act. Oh my god, when I saw that in person. <gasps> Y'all. It's a good show. I mean, I didn't see the original one so I can't really compare and contrast. But all I can say is I personally loved it. So this is one of the characters inspired by the show. So uh, yeah. Let's get right into the video. If you guys want to know how I created this look, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you want to know when exactly I upload a video, be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I exactly upload. And follow me on social media well, I, well, where I'll post future sneak peeks of future makeups and other things. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, let's get right into the video. So the first thing I did is I went ahead and covered my eyebrow. I was about to say glue stick. I used the glue stick method to cover my eyebrow. And once that eyebrow is nice and set, be sure to set it with powder. And then you're going to go ahead and move on to your highlight, your cream highlight, and then your cream foundation over that. Make sure the cream highlight goes in the highest point of your face. And then your foundation goes around your whole face. And then you're going to contour on your face, anywhere that needs to be contoured. Next, using this fluffy brush and this Ben I Lumiere in turquoise, we're gonna create a almost like a half C on the sides of our face where our um, sideburns are. And it's gonna feed into the outer corner of the eye like so. And make sure you have those nice and blended edges. And then we're gonna go ahead and jump to a yellow, same Ben I Lumiere. And then we're gonna take um, any of the uh, area that is not that doesn't have yellow next to the turquoise and you're gonna add it in between those areas and make sure it's nice and blended and once you have that blended on both sides a little bit of blush dusty rose on the cheeks and then using this uh, Mac pencil and beat I am making a quarter of a circle on the left side of the eye And then using a flat brush, I went ahead and smoothed out the edges. And once you have that done, go ahead and create a kind of like a cut crease eye, half eye on both eyes. And using a small uh, fluffy brush, we are going to brush out the outer part of the, the design that we created on both eyes. So that on the inside it's clean and on the outside it's nice and blended. Next, you're gonna go ahead and set your face with powder. I'm using the Bed Nine Neutral Set in powder. Be sure to get rid of any creases on your face. Make sure you get in between every nook and cranny. And once you have that done, go ahead and brush off all the excess powder that you have off your face. And then using a Morphe M504 brush, I am using Tilt MAC eyeshadow. And I am just going to lay that over the turquoise that we have previously applied in the cream. And you're going to do this on both sides. And then using a Ben Nye Lumiere color eyeshadow in Sun Yellow, I am laying that on top of the yellow um, cream color that we had laid previously. And then for the purple, it is a Ben Nye, or no, is it a Ben Nye? I think it was a Ben Nye purple eyeshadow. I could be wrong. I'll put the product, the eyeshadow in the description box down below. But it's a purple sparkly eyeshadow, and I applied that on the parts where pretty much I have used the MAC pencil in the beat. And then for the other eye, since I it's like more detailed, more smaller, I used a smaller brush. Same eyeshadow color. Make sure you take your time and make sure everything is nice and blended smoothly, effortlessly, you know. Mwah. Next, I took stars in my eyes and I'm using a small lip brush and I'm applying that on 
the eyelids of both of the eyes. And once that is done, you will take a MAC pigment in silver and lay that on top just to kind of set it and give it more of a shine to it. And then using some more of that purple eyeshadow, you're going to blend um, the outer corner into the eyelid area just to give it nice and, a nice smooth transition between those two shades. Next, apply a little bit of Oh Darling highlight to the highest points of your face. And then we will be taking our MAC Black Track Gel Liner or some more of that eyeshadow. I could be wrong, my screen is far away. Voiceovers, you gotta love them. And then for the eyebrow, I'm using this angled brush and I'm using the MAC Acrylic Paint in Black. Oh no, I'm not kidding, I totally lied. I'm using any eyebrow, any natural eyebrow stuff. And then on the outer corner of the eyebrow, I applied the MAC acrylic paint in red. I was thinking of the singer in black. Sorry, that's my fault. And then for the under the eye, I am using the acrylic paint in black. Make sure everything is nice and blended effortlessly as well underneath the eye so the black and the purple can have a nice little transition. And then you're going to create uh, small polka dots in a wing form on both of the eyes like so using a small pointed brush. And then we're gonna transition into red dots on the outer corner as well. And then on the inner corner, we are doing red dots. And then we will apply kind of like stripes, kind of like scratches almost on the, on the corner of the circle that we had previously, you know, shaded with the purple. And then we're going back with some white acrylic paint in the center of the eyes in the inner corners. And then we're gonna apply some eyelash glue onto that design as well. Go ahead and do your lips. We are using the same um, lip pencil in Beat. And then we're gonna go ahead and set those with setting powder. And then we're using that same eyeshadow. And then on the outer corner of our lips, we're going to uh, use in the shadows and bleed that inwards. And then once the eyelash glue has set, we are applying some transfer foil on top and then boom. Now it did pick up some of the red. So once you're done with the silver and you're satisfied, go ahead and go back with the red. Nothing like a little bit of mascara. And then you're gonna apply your lashes after that. Blow on your lashes, make sure the glue is nice and tacky. Set it with spray and you are done.